a fine woman who knows she fine is trouble. Now that bitch bad. She knows she bad, so you watch her back. So this was Kanan explaining to Sean how a fine woman who knows she's fine is trouble. And no doubt, back when they wrote this script in 2014 or 15, they never had plans for raising Kanan. They were showing how Kanan's learned over the years, probably through past mistakes, and how he's passing his knowledge and experience down to Sean, as you normally do as a father or a mentor. But now they're definitely bringing this to life in Kanan's past with Palomar and Corinne's introduction in episode 4. Now, when Kanan was giving this lesson to Sean, he was talking about Tasha because he saw the way he looked at her and he knew there were some feelings from Sean. So we have to take the same thing Kanan said and apply it to Palomar and Corinne. So in Kanan's words, a fine woman who knows she's fine is trouble. I'm Corinne's mother. Palomar. So in this video, we're going to have a brief look at what Kanan said in power and how it relates to this exact situation he finds himself in with Palomar and Corinne and also why he needs to watch his back. So with that being said, this was Palomar's character description which they released before season 2. One of Famous's new neighbours, Palomar is a young mom who's frequently mistaken for her daughter, Corinne's older sister. Any responsible parent wouldn't let their daughter within a mile of Canaan, Famous, and their friends. But Palomar is not that parent. Now, just before we dive deep into Palomar and Corinne's motives, Canaan's been warned before about being too trusting in girls that he has an eye for, and Davina was a classic example. In season 1, we learned how Canaan was all sprung upon Davina. How long you been trying to get with her? How long she been playing you to the left? So, Kanan had to learn the hard way. He made a huge mistake when he stepped out of the stash house when Scrappy warned him not to leave. And Scrappy also said, everyone's in the game. And that's something we're going to come back around to when we discuss Palomar and Corinne. But with Davina, it ended up with her giving the location to the stash house to Unique. And then there was Kanan who sided with Davina. So we saw him go after Scrappy because he thought he was a snitch. Now, this was Kanan's first real eye opener and a lesson about trust. So this brings me on to the introduction of Palomar and Corinne. Now, she's Famous's new neighbor. So I assume with Kanan being Famous's best friend and him having to be the neighbor of Palomar and Corinne, we're going to see Kanan at Famous's apartment a lot more, especially considering he hit off with Corinne pretty much straight away. And no doubt, there was always going to be someone who filled the void of Davina because she said she's now his girlfriend. But whether she was saying it in the heat of the moment or it develops into something or whether she's playing a game, let's wait and see. But when Palomar knocked on the door, you can understand why Kanan mistook her for Corinne's older sister. And Kanan didn't just have eyes for Corinne. But the reason why Kanan needs to watch his back is because what is Palomar's game? Because she was moving mad sus. First she said they needed to keep the noise down because Miss Davis in 406 will call the cops. But then she completely changed her tone, had a peep inside and let Corinne enter. And this situation reminds me of something Monet taught Diana in season 1 of Ghost. To control it, you gotta always be able to think ahead of him. Whatever you say to him, should always lead him back to you. It means a man doesn't fall in love with you. He falls in love with the image of himself that he sees in your eyes. Now, if there's one thing we've learned from the power universe, everybody has a mentor or has at least learned from past mistakes. And this situation reminds me of Monet and Diana. Monet's been mentoring Diana ever since season 1. And we saw how Diana use it to her advantage when she was stopped by some cops in season 2. Or when she put the crocodile tears on to get her hands on Tariq's phone. But you get the gist. And the point I'm making is Corinne's mentor is Palomar. And they're definitely up to something. And I did wonder whether this could be connected to Unique in any way. Because he is someone who's making chess moves behind the scenes. He also knows the biggest weakness to Rock is Kanan. Just like he exploited the situation with Davina. But I don't know if Unique is involved in this one. It may just be Palomar and Corinne working their angle. So Kanan definitely needs to watch his back. Whether it's Unique or not. It will definitely be another valuable lesson for Kanan in trust. But drop all your thoughts down below in the comment section. Are Palomar and Corinne up to no good? Because as Scrappy once said, everyone's in the game. So drop all your thoughts down below in the comment section. And of course, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 3 and Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.